I think the president became uh, more interested in inflation after he's seeing his plummeting approval rates. He's now talking about inflation being uh, as a top priority of the administration. He, uh, in fact, just recently wrote an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal titled, My Plan for Fighting Inflation. I'd like to talk just briefly about that. He begins the op-ed by arguing that our economy is actually in great shape, which strikes me as being about as out of touch as you can get. He, he apparently isn't talking to the constituents that I talk to on a regular basis. And he lays out then three points for combating inflation. One, well, it's the Fed's job. Two, his energy policies and Build Back Better agenda will fix it. And three, a supposed newfound commitment to fiscal discipline. And in the op-ed, he says he welcomes debate on his plan. And maybe tonight, that's, that's what we're doing. We're debating what really are the ways that we can combat inflation and whether his plan really uh, will work. So let's talk about the Fed, because the president first point was arguing that it's the Fed's responsibility to control inflation. And the, the president, again, has spent a year and a half uh, pushing policies that fuel inflation and then points to the Fed to fix the problem. Now, I do agree that the Fed has a role in controlling inflation. And essentially, the tool they have will be to raise interest rates, to, to try to slow down uh, the economy. But we all know that raising rates, which will be required, which they're doing now, tomorrow we're talking, they're talking about a three quarter, 0.3, a 0.75% uh, increase in the, in the federal rate, uh, which is a significant increase. And they're talking about doing that uh, multiple times. So it has significant consequences on our economy, both in the short and long term. What do I mean by that? Well, it makes it more expensive for businesses to borrow money. It makes it more expensive for individuals to borrow money. We're seeing uh, home mortgage rates uh, go up significantly already. That will continue to do that. And, and hundreds of thousands uh, less, uh, fewer people today are able to afford to buy a home and when they could have done so and the rates were lower. So there'll be a decrease in demand for goods and services. Uh, which, again, it's an attempt to tamp down uh, the economy to decrease demand and decrease uh, spending. But the other entity that's affected by rising interest rates is the Fed, the federal uh, the government. You know, we have $30 trillion in debt. And for every, this, this chart shows what will happen as interest rates are being raised. Just raising a half a percent, if you see the first line, will increase interest costs over the next 10 years by 1.3 trillion. Going up 2% will uh, increase interest costs by 5.3 trillion over the next 10 years. Now, let's put that in perspective. That would be, under the president's plan, 1.5 times our current Medicare spending, 1.4 times our current defense spending, and 11 times our current veterans' health care spending. So every single dollar that we have to pay in additional interest costs will be taking dollars from programs that help people across the country and will be taking dollars uh, out of our economy.